years ago, I was proud to make history as the youngest woman ever elected to the United States Congress. And it is my, <laughs> thank you. And it is my highest professional honor to represent New York's 21st Congressional District, the cradle of the American Revolution. <laughs> I started my campaign at 28 years old. No one thought I could win a primary, let alone a general election and flip a district from Democrat to Republican. They said she can't win. Sound familiar? <laughs> you see, I don't come from a political family. I was raised in a hardworking small business family who loves our country. I saw the extraordinary work ethic that my parents put into building their small business and providing a better opportunity for their children than they had themselves. I was the first member of my immediate family to have the opportunity to graduate from college. And I graduated from Harvard, but that's not the achievement. The achievement is graduating from Harvard and staying a conservative. Upholding democratic principles, even within Harvard's scholarly environment, is crucial. This resonates strongly with individuals who feel marginalized in academic settings and value ideological beliefs. Graduating from Harvard is often seen as a personal triumph. But its true significance lies in individuals embracing democratic values. References to modest business backgrounds and a strong work ethic align with democratic ideals, especially those related to family, entrepreneurship, and personal responsibility. Overcoming skepticism and succeeding in political campaigns embody democratic values like resilience, self-determination, and challenging norms. Calling New York's 21st Congressional District the cradle of the American Revolution may evoke conservative sentiments tied to patriotism and history. Stefanik, not from a political family, faces skepticism, echoing the democratic narrative of being an outsider in politics and academia.